Hey everybody, uh, usually I come in and I'm joking and I'm having a good time and I'm wanting to just kind of attack your imagination. But today I'm here on Hollywood Boulevard and as I was filming earlier and we were having fun with some other lessons and objectives on the lesson plan, I ran across the family. And this is a mother and her sons and they're homeless. And today I want to talk to you about apathy. Apathy is having a lack of interest or love or compassion for people. I suffered from apathy. I would always say, I don't care. I don't care. Doesn't matter. It's not my problem. Too bad for them. That's their problem. You know all those little sayings, those little cliches. But when you're the homeless family that's behind me and people just keep walking by, walking by, and it's a trip because I see people walking by with purses that cost up to $3,000. Here's a family, a mom with her kids, and you're going to talk to her in a little bit and hear from her. She's not fake, and nobody even gives her 10 cents. I have my daughter, uh, Ebony, with me today, and it's funny because she's a freshman, and she's helping with the camera and the lighting and everything. And she looked, and where we're from, we're from Central California, and there's homelessness there, and there's apathy there too, where people don't care, and it's every man and every woman for themselves. But she took out money out of her pocket and said, you know what, Dad, I'm going to give you, this family some money. And it's, it just touches my heart that my daughter can do something like that. Hi, my name is Daniel, and I was speaking earlier, I couldn't help but notice as we are filming that all these people are walking by. I mean, how does it feel to live in the United States, be on Hollywood Boulevard with your kids, and people really don't show you any empathy? It's, it's, it's sad. It, this just shows you what the world's really coming to, how they, people just don't care anymore. They really don't. They have no heart. This is the most heartless city I've ever been in in my life. And how about your children? I mean, how do you, what kind of things do you tell these children? Because what I do is I'm, I feel, I'm filming lesson plans for my curriculum, the Maven curriculum, and it's to help adolescents to become better people. What kind of stuff do you say to your children to be strong I just, and I just, in there? I tell them to, you know, be yourself. Don't follow, don't follow these people. If you feel like you need to help somebody, help them, you know? Cause they know how it feels to be in need and they know that they don't want to be like these people out here. You know, they know that we still, we have more than any of these people ever have. They might have money, but we got love and they can never oh, take that from us. Right on, uh, you're right. They can't, they can't take our, our, this has made us stronger than, more than anything in the world that we've ever been through. This is, I don't wish this on anybody, but I, I hope that they have to go through this just to experience the, the, um, where the line is drawn if we're not being human anymore. You know, that's, I mean, we get treated like that, that we don't even get to use bathrooms because we're homeless. Um, we sleep on pavement sometimes because we don't get enough money for a motel. We haven't ate breakfast yet this morning. I mean, we've been up for over almost two hours and we've got $2 in our pocket. It, it's sad, it really is when all it takes, if everybody gave us a dollar, one dollar that's walked past us, We'd be in a room, we'd be, we have our bus ticket money to get back home. And we don't have that because that's why we're stuck here. And one of the things that I'm talking about in the lesson is apathy. And that's just where you just don't have any love or compassion for your fellow man. And I mentioned that earlier. And I'm just glad that you're, show, you're I see your children and I just look in their eyes and I see hope. I see enthusiasm. I see that they're not defeated. No. And it's funny, there's kids out there that have a mansion, that have both parents. There's kids that have new clothes. Listen. And you look in their eyes, and, and all they want is more. Yep. And I look at your kids' no, no, no. eyes, and in your kids' eyes, I see they're happy. Thank you. I see that they're fulfilled. I must be doing something right, even you though are. this county ain't. <laughs> you are. You're doing so. something right. Well, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I see all these adults and they just keep walking by and walking by. And you know, I just 
wanted to get across to your heart that, you know, it's okay to be angry. We all go through different things in our life. If you're angry, you're upset, you're discouraged, you're depressed, you're sad, you're bored, whatever it is, you know, it's okay. But understand that apathy is not even caring about somebody next to you. Somebody that's broken down on the road and you have a brand new car. And once apathy enters your body, it's like an infection and it's a disease. Suddenly, you don't want to help anybody. And I just wanted to share that with you today. Look up the word apathy. Come go out and help people who are broken down. And I know there's a lot of homeless people that are that are lying and faking that we've heard all the stories, but you never know which one of those is going to be an angel. And remember, if you suffer from apathy, you will never be one of those angels that's out there solving puzzles. Later, guys.